junk all 37 anti-terror law petitions. That is the advice of retired Supreme Court Associate Justice Francis Hardaleza to the Supreme Court. As amicus curiae or friend of the court in the oral arguments, he says the petitions lack legal standing. Hardaleza was one of the court's chosen experts to help them decide on the cases. None of the petitioners in these cases has claimed direct personal or constitutional injury or has alleged actual prosecution under the ATA has to be entitled to relief. Hardeleza also refers to Southern Hemisphere, a 2010 case on similar petitions against the old law, the Human Security Act. The Supreme Court junked the cases, saying there was no actual charge nor credible threat of prosecution. The decision said the fears expressed then were merely speculative. Petitions maintain the anti-terror law's threat to free speech allows a challenge that can be made without being directly charged, prosecuted, or injured through other means using the law. In a recent development, peace consultant Ray Claro Casambre, one of the petitioners, was designated a terrorist by the Anti-Terror Council using the law. In a related development, lawyer Ted Te, who is both a counsel and petitioner, is ordered by the High Court to explain his tweets and argue why he should not be cited in contempt of court. He tweeted on May 12 how ironic it was for the High Court to allow National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon Jr. to red tag progressive groups in open court. Te said the court should have previewed the videos first for relevance and also for authenticity. In the deleted tweets, he said it was also the uncontested annotation of the videos that was so grossly unfair and prejudicial. It amounted to direct examination testimony of a witness not placed under oath and not allowed to be cross-examined. Ted deleted the tweet soon after. Lawyers in the petitions are prohibited from discussing the case.